living in the Arctic 50 million years ago and sloths living in Antarctica. Yet, within its endless white lies, a memory older than civilization itself. For centuries, myths have circled this place. Lost worlds, strange visitors, forgotten life. Now, with technology sharp enough to pierce the ice, Elon Musk has turned his gaze here. So, you know, we've got to put, obviously, probably the occupied base in, in Antarctica, um, and it would be great to have one, one on the moon as well. Yeah. Um, and you can do, you know, I think a lot more research if you have the scientists actually there. What he has uncovered is not invention, but revelation, something that may alter everything we thought we knew. This is Antarctica, the southernmost edge of our planet. The last remaining territory on the planet that could have such a designation is Antarctica. Where silence hides truths buried for millions of years. Beneath its frozen skin, the past and future collide. What Musk has seen is more than discovery. It is a warning, and perhaps a destiny. Antarctica, the frozen enigma. Antarctica stretches wider than most can imagine, a vast expanse at the bottom of the world. Covered almost entirely in ice, it is the fifth largest continent, yet one of the least known. Its landscape is harsh, silent, and unforgiving. Winds tear across the open plains, temperatures drop so low that survival becomes a test of endurance, and still people return. At any given moment, a small population of researchers lives here. Between 1,000 and 5,000 individuals brave its isolation, each chasing answers hidden in the snow. They do not come for comfort or beauty, but for mystery. What pulls them is not only the challenge of science, but the sense that Antarctica is keeping something back. Beneath the frozen surface, secrets sleep, untouched by time. Some believe entire histories lie buried here, waiting to be revealed. It is a place where the Earth holds its breath, where silence suggests that everything we know might only be the surface. The DNA that changed everything. The first true crack in Antarctica's silence came from the sea. In the Scotia waters, just north of the continent, a team of researchers drilled deep below the seabed. What they found was not rock or sand, but a fragment of life. Buried more than 500 feet beneath the floor, rested a strand of DNA, older than imagination. It belonged to diatoms, tiny plankton, that once floated in sunlight. This discovery startled the scientific world how could such fragile traces survive for a million years? The answer pointed to a truth few expected. Antarctica had not always been ice and emptiness. It had once been alive, filled with water and warmth, carrying the breath of plants and animals. The DNA acted as a signal. It told scientists that they were only scratching the surface. If microscopic life could endure the weight of ages, then perhaps entire chapters of Earth's story still waited, locked beneath the frozen crust. Silent, but unforgettable. Fossils of Forgotten Worlds Driven by curiosity, scientists pushed farther into Antarctica's edges. Their journey carried them to James Ross Island, where stone and ice met. There, they searched patiently, turning over rocks that had been untouched for millions of years. What they uncovered was more than fragments. It was memory carved in stone. They found the remains of creatures that once ruled land and sea, dinosaur bones, wings of ancient birds, and even shells from marine life spoke of a continent filled with warmth and movement. We have different kinds of fossils that we're finding here, some, some sea urchin materials, some fossil wood. Among these relics, rested something even more delicate, the fossilized wings of a beetle from 20 million years ago. Fragile, yet preserved, it told of forests that once sheltered small lives. The most haunting discovery came in the form of microscopic remains. Fossilized sperm cells attached to the egg case of an extinct worm. Time had frozen a moment of reproduction itself. These finds left no doubt. Antarctica had once been a thriving world, 
alive with forests, waters, and creatures now erased by endless ice. Hidden life beneath the ice. The discoveries did not stop with fossils. Beneath the vast shelves of ice, scientists began to find life that still endured. In the Weddell Sea, cameras lowered into the depths revealed something extraordinary, an enormous colony of ice fish. The world's biggest fish spawning region was recently identified near the Filchner Ice Shelf in the southern Weddell Sea of Antarctica using a towed camera system. Nest after nest stretched across the seabed, millions of them, guarded and alive. It was a hidden city beneath the frozen ocean. Further drilling revealed more surprises. Sponges clung to rocks under the ice, surviving in complete darkness. Around them, other small organisms moved, adapted to a world no human had seen. And in another place, more than a thousand feet below the surface, shrimp-like creatures swam freely through an underground river. We're surprised to spot a small shrimp-like creature 600 feet beneath the West Antarctic ice sheet. Untouched and unknown until that moment, each discovery reshaped what scientists thought possible. Antarctica was not a lifeless desert, but a sanctuary of survival. Even in conditions where cold, darkness, and pressure reigned, life found a way. The ice that seemed to seal the continent in silence was, in truth, hiding ecosystems that pulsed quietly far below human reach. Rivers, caverns, and volcanoes. Beneath the heavy sheet of ice, researchers uncovered signs of a world in motion. They drilled into hidden chambers and found vast caverns, their ceilings uneven, carved by time and unseen forces. Inside these spaces, water flowed in ways no one expected. Instead of a single current, the water divided itself into layers, each drifting in a different direction, like threads weaving a secret pattern under the continent. Then came a revelation. Sensors placed above the ice recorded how far away volcanic eruptions sent ripples through these subglacial rivers. The ground shook, and the chambers answered, proving that Antarctica was listening to the heartbeat of the Earth itself. And while much of the land seemed silent, one giant refused to sleep. Mount Erebus, the southernmost active volcano, towers above Ross Island. Its molten heart has burned for more than a million years. Around its slopes, explorers found strange caves filled with warmth and steam. Even here, in the shadow of fire and ice, microorganisms thrived, life enduring in the harshest edge of the planet's extremes. Mountains of stone and memory. Not all of Antarctica's secrets belong to ice or water. Hidden deep below, scientists uncovered something immense, a buried mountain range. It stretched more than a thousand kilometers, its peaks rising nearly as high as the Rockies, yet hidden completely beneath the frozen crust. No explorer had ever laid eyes on it. Its presence was revealed only through faint shifts in gravity and magnetic signals, whispers from the Earth itself. To see what could not be reached, researchers turned to satellites. By stripping away the ice in digital models, they glimpsed the ancient bedrock. The mountains told a forgotten story. They were remnants of Gondwana, the supercontinent that once bound the southern lands together. Millions of years ago, this region was alive with forests and rivers before drifting into its icy exile. These ghostly peaks reminded the world that Antarctica was not always frozen emptiness. Beneath its surface lies a memory of continents joined, of climates transformed, and of a planet still shaping itself in silence. Why Antarctica froze? The question lingered like a shadow. How did a land once green and alive turn into a kingdom of ice? Two ideas rose among scientists, the first pointed to the air itself. Millions of years ago, the planet's carbon dioxide began to fall. Slowly, the warmth faded. When levels dropped past a critical line, temperatures sank, and the first great ice sheets spread across the continent. The second idea looked to the oceans. Around 35 million years ago, the narrow Drake Passage between South America and Antarctica deepened. With that change came a new current, 
a massive circle of cold water cutting the southern continent off from warmth. Sealed by this endless flow, Antarctica froze. Later, researchers suggested the two forces work together. Falling carbon dioxide and shifting seas formed a trap, closing the door to the past and locking the land into its icy fate. What was once forest became desert. The continent's silence began, and with it, mysteries that endure even now. The Threat of Melting Ice Today, the danger no longer lies in the freezing of Antarctica, but in its unraveling. In recent years, vast slabs of ice have begun to break apart. The A-76A iceberg, larger than some countries, drifted away from its shelf, carried slowly toward warmer seas where it would vanish. Each fragment that melts adds to the oceans, raising levels across the globe. Heat waves have already struck the continent, pushing temperatures far beyond what was thought possible. Scientists have watched ancient glaciers retreat at alarming speeds, sometimes faster than entire buildings are tall. With every mile of ice lost, the risk to coastal cities grows clearer. Above, the sky also weakens. A hole in the ozone layer spreads wide over the south, larger even than the United States. Without protection, sunlight warms the ice more quickly, turning Antarctica from a frozen fortress into a fragile shell. What was once locked away for millions of years may now disappear within centuries, changing coastlines, climates, and lives everywhere. Antarctica as a desert and a mirror of Mars. Antarctica is not only a land of ice, but also the largest desert on Earth. In the McMurdo Dry Valleys, the air is so dry and the ground so bare that it feels more like Mars than our own planet. Towering dunes shift slowly each year, reshaped by warming winds and melting ground. To scientists, these valleys are a mirror, offering clues about how life might survive on distant worlds. Yet Antarctica also speaks in stranger ways. On the vast Ross Ice Shelf, storms carve vibrations into the snow. The shelf hums with a low song, unheard by human ears, but captured by seismic sensors. This haunting music shifts with seasons, storms, and melting ice, revealing the shelf's hidden state. Together, the valleys and the singing ice remind us that even the most silent places are alive, moving, breathing, and warning of change that cannot be ignored. Antarctica holds its secrets close, but piece by piece, they rise to the surface. Fossils, rivers, mountains, and songs in the ice all tell of a land that has never been still. What Elon Musk and others uncover here is not only about the past, it is about our future. If this frozen continent melts, the world will change forever. The silence of Antarctica is not empty. It is a warning, a reminder that the Earth is alive, and that its hidden truths may decide the fate of us all.